Itu dirimu pakai ini apa? Itu. Dirimu pakai ini apa? Itu. Pakai ini. Okay, uh, hello everyone. Can everybody hear me? Please uh, just uh, chat me. Okay. Am I Indonesian? Yes, I am Indonesian. Right. Can uh, everybody hear me clearly? <coughs> this just chat me. Ah, okay, great. Okay, uh, shall we start our class? Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to our uh, class, uh, Creative Camp uh, Third. Yeah, Third Batch. So uh, we will uh, discuss about the overview of uh, our program now. So it's so basically this is uh, uh, okay. From first, I would like to introduce you to the instructors. Okay, uh, we got uh, first one is Miss Alin Alamanda, uh, and she will be. Uh, share about uh, script writing. Uh, after this, uh, after this uh, overview, exactly. So, so uh, in in this sessions, you will learn about about script writing from uh, Miss Alin Almanda. Okay, and then uh, the second this is uh, me. Uh, my name is Hadi Saputra, and then the third one is uh, Mr. Renaldo. Uh, and he will talk about the script breakdown, uh, the script writing. I hope uh, you already uh, read all of the uh, uh, project uh, pro program in the creativecamp.cameo.org, uh, and, uh, uh, and then uh, yeah, there will be uh, the schedule, the old script, the, the old script schedule. Of our program, okay. And then next, so uh, this is the objectives. Yeah, the objectives uh, is basically uh, you will produce a video. What video? Uh, it's uh, a, a, a video to promote 
uh, your touristic attractions in your local area. Yes. Okay. So, uh, but uh, you don't have to be afraid. Uh, uh, it's usually that uh, in the beginning, uh, beginners, right? Uh, you will afraid of uh, producing a video or a film because of lack of uh, lack of equipment. So uh, right now we don't care about uh, your equi equipment, uh, your professional equipment. So use your available gadget or equipment. Okay. So uh, you you can borrow from your from your school, from your friend, uh, and then just use whatever gadget that you have. Okay, so uh, this is how to, uh, the exactly the uh, objectives of our program. So how to create online tourism promotional video with the equipment you already have. I will underline that the equipment of you already have. Yeah, but so no uh, excuse that you don't have any equipment. Um, and then how to develop your own video from conception production and to editing okay uh, how to identify what equipment for beginner video creators and then how to shoot that video with any camera how to record a better audio because audio is essential so you can bear uh, uh, not not so good uh, video or picture but but if you watch a movie that the sound is bad, you already don't want to uh, see or don't want to watch that, that video. Yeah, so so how to make it a better audio is essential for you. And then how to set up basic video lights and using natural light for your video. And then how to process of editing a video and how to make your shooting result more engaging. So that's basically our uh, uh, objectives of this uh, program. Okay. Um, okay. Great. And then another one. Uh, so, so uh, in the video production, we've got three uh, steps exactly. So uh, b basically, it's three steps, which is uh, it's the pre-production, productions, and then post other productions. In the pre-productions, you have to have you have to create your own uh, script, right? So video, you need a script. From from uh, from that script, you will know what you want, what you need to capture what you need to create or what you need to make right and then if you already have the script and then uh, we are moving to the production uh, process the production is you creating what you need in the uh, script so uh, for example if in the script you need to have a shot of uh, sky. Maybe. So in the production, you shot a sky, right? And then uh, uh, sound, uh, video, or uh, animations you created in the production steps. And then uh, after that, we go to the post-production steps, which is you. Um, gather all of your uh, assets in the production and then you uh, make uh, or you create the, the story uh, in this post production or editing. Okay? Uh, so that's basically the uh, uh, basic steps of the uh, video production. Okay, so this is the timeline of our uh, program. So uh, in the first, uh, in the in the first uh, sessions, you you 
will learn about script writing here. And then in the second uh, script breakdown, that's Miss Ayado will will uh, guide you to that. And after that, we step in the production process, which is audio assets, and then how to shoot a video, right? And then uh, moving on, in the 16th of October 2008, uh, we step into the uh, post-production process. 16th and 18th October. October. Okay. And then uh, this is uh, the uh, uh, ethic or rules of our video conference. So uh, the participants, uh, you can join the room uh, 30 minutes in advance. So so uh, it's for audio check. So you will you will check your audio first. Is it is it uh, clear for you? Can you speak into the uh, into the uh, uh, video conference room uh, and so on? So uh, when uh, the session is start, you will have no uh, problem. Okay. So uh, the second one is it's not allowed to use two devices. Uh, why? Because it will uh, consume all of your uh, internet. Uh, yeah all of your internet. So so we suggest you to just use uh, one device in in uh, in your area. Okay? And then you will be asked to turn off the microphone. Okay? Because if if everyone uh, turning on their mic microphone it will be so crowded. Okay? Uh, and then silence the participant will be asked to remain silent. Why? Because uh, during the, the uh, material or uh, sharing sessions, uh, if, if you all, uh, uh, all speak, uh, it will be so crowded. So uh, because we have after the material sessions, you will have the questions and answer sessions. Yeah, uh, the session is uh, after the mentor uh, finishing uh, the presentations. Okay, and then uh, when you have a questions, you can type the question in the chat room. Yeah, and then uh, we will we will uh, we will answer your questions based on the order of the questions. Okay, and then uh, the moderator will remove the participant. From uh, uh, from frequent room, if the participant doesn't comply with the applicable room rules, okay. So I hope that's uh, uh, clear enough for you. And then, uh, if you have any question uh, for this program, I think uh, you can you can uh, you can ask uh, via chat. Via chat, and then we will answer. Uh, when the questions and answer sessions. Okay, uh, okay. I think that's all for the overview. Uh, say uh, overview of this program. We will continue in the, the next uh, session, which is the presentation of uh, uh, Miss Aline. Uh, she will uh, present about uh, the script writing. Okay.
Okay, good evening uh, everyone. Uh, welcome to the session of script writing with me. My name is Alin. Uh, I'm from Simolek. Today I will be sharing with you about how to write a script uh, before you create your video. So the first step of creating a video is you have to come up with idea of the story which is uh, written into a script. So this is basically just an uh, overview uh, about uh, script writing. So uh, in this session, we will learn about the first one is definition of a scenario or script. Uh, the second one is tricks on how to visualize your scenes. And then the third one is I will explain some terms uh, in scenario or script writing. And the fourth one is I will give you uh, examples of script and uh, how from that script the video will be made. And the uh, last one, uh, maybe it's not called assignment yet, it should be like exercise. You can create your own uh, script after you finish uh, my explanation uh, about script writing, then you can create your own script. Okay. This is the, the definition of a script or a scenario, which is a story uh, that describes the sequence of scenes, the places, the circumstances, and the dialogue. Uh, those are arranged in the context of a dramatic structure. So uh, the function of script itself is to serve as working guide in making movies or films. So, uh, all the crews, the cameraman, the lighting, the editor will be uh, go to the script uh, each time they have to do their responsibility in the movie. So script will be like the foundation of the movie before you create, before you uh, gather all your equipment or your, uh, or your crew, you have to come up with a good story uh, which is in form of uh, script or scenario. So this one, you need to be alert that everything represents dialogues and visual language to explain the scenes display. So what does it mean? So uh, as I told you before, a scenario is, uh, you, do, you take the scenario from a story that come up in your uh, head from your idea. So that story is very limited by the ability uh, to visualize and also limited by time for characters to do the dialogue or the screen. So you have like limited uh, time to explain of your uh, about your story. Uh, so it cannot be like really long. So the, the skill of the script writer uh, is here, uh, proven in the script that they write. So they will have to create the story format in a scenario. So it's a different thing. It's not like a novel where you can put all your words or your statement there, but you have to make it like uh, very short, but still uh, able to explain the story. So here, uh, for example, I can give you uh, like in a romantic movie, if you pay attention on how Visualization in a romantic scene is described using uh, some details such as like green grasses and then blooming flowers, beautiful and handsome faces like in Korean movie for example, and then beautiful dress, outfit. That will create a atmosphere or the condition, the feelings from the, from the viewers that uh, this is a romantic scene. Usually in some romantic movies, uh, two characters usually uh, suddenly met in the same place, uh, in a very beautiful place, for example. Uh, the, the, the visualization is eliminating the logic, the, how they can be in that place, in, in that same time, which is uh, like very easy to be rich. Uh, for example, it's in the mountain area, but uh, suddenly the two characters met. But usually people eliminate uh, the logical aspect, just receiving the message of the story that it's a romantic scene. 
And another example, if you can see in Indian movie, some Indian movie even portrays places that are actually uh, very, uh, very difficult to be, to reach in a short time if you use the logic of reality. Some scenes uh, display two characters, for example, from different location, like uh, the guy is in the ocean, and then the lady is in the is in the mountains, and then suddenly they reunited in a very beautiful park, uh, only in like few seconds singing and dancing, but nobody questioning it. They just like enjoying the movie, getting the feelings of romantic aspect from the scene, and then. Uh, Visual language, is, uh, we can see that visual language is needed to beautify or to confirm the scenes that might not be able to uh, be replaced by dialogue. So without using dialogue, uh, you can still get the story, the message delivered to the, to the viewers. Uh, here, I can give you an uh, example. Yeah? Uh, for example, if you want to create a, a scene like bomb explosion in a school, uh, the scenario explaining a student who experienced bomb explosion in his school. The student can finally make it to his home safely. Uh, and then using our imagination, we can write scenes in detail explaining the bomb explosion at school. But then we need to think how to execute the scenario into parts of movie, how to turn from the writing into a shooting, shooting uh, activity. Because it will be difficult to visualize the explosive scenes at school because not only that it is dangerous and also will be expensive. You, you want to create like a real explosive thing. Yeah? In terms of cost, it will be uh, very expensive. So. With some tricks, we could modify the story uh, and create it into scenes like this. Okay, uh, let's read the, the script together. Here, at EXT, mean exterior, in the, the location is in the main street and the time is uh, during daytime. An explosive sound surprised people who are passing by on a main street near a school. And then uh, their sound effect, uh, the sound of bomb explosion. And then for the visual effect to create uh, to create the scene that it uh, there was a bomb explosion after the sound, we can put like smoke, dust, and ashes, and then people running around frantically. Things like got chaotic, and some people uh, seem to carry small children covered in blood, and some students run around in a tattered clothes. Uh, as if they, after being hit by a fire, scream here and there, and people hysterically shout, help, help. Uh, a security guard is running towards them, looks confused. Uh, the security, what? What is it? What is happening? The security asks to uh, the crowd, and then people goes like, the school, sir, the elementary school was bombed. It's horrible. And then a student with tattered clothes and dirty body full of ashes and dirt, is running among the crowd. He looks tired and confused walking toward his house. His house. And then uh, the scene cuts to in here is interior and then the uh, student house. The, lo the location is at the at the student's house and then the time still daytime. The student arrives at his house. He is weak, sitting with no power on the couch in his house. His mother comes to him. Her face looks very surprised. And then the mother asks, Oh my God, what happened with you? What's wrong? The student stumbling says, My school, mom, my school was bombed. Here, we can see the tricks uh, of the script writer uh, modifying the story, uh, still get the message delivered to the viewer that there was a bomb explosion in a school, but without really shoot uh, like explosive things. As I said earlier, it is uh, it would be very dangerous uh, and also uh, expensive in terms of cost. So, sorry. Uh, as a script writer, uh, we are expected to master uh, the tricks on how to shorten a scene. Yeah? 
uh, we have to we need to be able to save time in visualization and change it with dialogue or change the perspective of viewers in watching a particular scene. Uh, we need to make sure that the story uh, being delivered to the viewer as it was in our head, as it was uh, from the, the idea. And then sometimes using narration with uh, voice-over technique could shorten a detailed explanation of a scene. You can see like a famous movie such as like Star Wars. Uh, Star Wars always use narration in the opening to tell the beginning of the story. Uh, even only with the opening narration, viewers could be convinced to believe that the rest scenes of the movie movies will be uh, interesting. So uh, this is the part of the responsibility of the scriptwriter, how to turn it into believable to the viewers. And then the camera person, the actor, the actress will uh, relate to the script. Uh, they will have like the same working guidance using the script itself. And also, uh, there are many terms in the script writing uh, process. Uh, here, I'm, here, here are some list of terms. Uh, I would like uh, actually there are many more than this. I would like to, uh, I would just like to focus on this uh, item. Uh, I think this one are the important ones that I'd like to share. The first one is big close up. This is usually or usually people call it BCU. This is a shooting at a very close range. For example. Uh, in a picture of one person, the camera will zoom in only the lips are shown. So in scenario, we can use uh, this like BCU, for example, to show a ring uh, used in a character's finger. So the camera will zoom in into the ring that is used by the character. And the second one is close up, just like the close up, but this, this one is not too, too close. For example, if it uh, shows the face, uh, shows a picture of a person, maybe only the face, shooting at a, uh, at a close range. So for BCU, it's very close, even smaller, than, even bigger than the TU. So in a scenario, close-up usually can be used to confirm character expression. Uh, for example, like eye glancing or a cynical smile for an antagonist character. Uh, and then, uh, but if it is not too important, uh, it's better to uh, do not use the close-up uh, because this is, will be the responsibility of the director to decide whether uh, the story needs close-up or not. And the next one is credit title. This one is displaying the names of creative teams and experts as well as everyone involved in making the film or the movie usually. Uh, we can see it in the uh, last part of the movie. And then this one is cut back to. This is the transition in a fast tempo. Uh, and then get back to the previous scene or location. For example, in a scenario, uh, example, yeah, a boy crying in the mall as he got lost from his mom. And then it cut to a mom who is looking for uh, her son in, in another corner of the mall. And then when the scene got back to the crying boy, the boy is already got help from a security guy. Here we use like this cut back to transition. And then for the cut to uh, transition in past tempo to describe two events happening at the same time but in a different place. Uh, or the continuation of a scene but still on the same day. It's cut to from two locations. And then Dissolve 2. Dissolve 2 is transition that shows picture becoming blurry to enter the next scene. Usually in a scenario, this is used to describe a dream or when the character is remembering his or her past or flashbacking or imagining things that are not happening yet, like dreaming. And then the next one is establishing thought. Establishing thought usually shortened as established. Uh, which means taking picture in full, showing the whole environment. Uh, usually it is taken from distance, so the picture looks small. For example, uh, when the character, the main character enters a room in a, in a hospital, uh, usually the picture will show established shot of the hospital building as a whole, 
even perhaps uh, showing the the signage of the name of the hospital and then go to the hospital and then go to the room of the hospital, one of the room in the hospital. And then the next one is EXT. Uh, previously we have seen uh, EXT uh, from the bomb deep, bomb explosive uh, explosive uh, grape that I showed you earlier. EXT short for exterior. So usually in a scenario this is written in line with skin title to give explanation that the shot is outdoor. And then the term EXT and ENT can be combined. EXT slash ENT uh, to show the scene inside the moving car or the road. So first, uh, the moving car is actually inside the car, but the location is outdoor. So we can use like EXT slash INT, X in, like that. And then uh, fade out. Fade out is like slow transition from light to the dark, from like daylight to night, and then fade in is uh, in a contrary to fade out is a slow transition from dark to the light. Uh, in, a, in a scenario, the use of a combination of fade out and fade in at the same time usually used to show the change of time. Uh, the, it can be like a week change, month change, or even year change. Uh, besides showing time changes, it can also be used to show changes of condition or location. So usually fade in, fade out is to just to move from another scene to from one scene to another scene. And then uh, the next one is flashback. This is easier used uh, when showing the time before a scene takes place. For example, like two years before or uh, last week. So it's like uh, telling the story of uh, previous time before uh, the scene takes place. And then flashback can display setback time to a few years back or sometimes just some hours before, some hours ago. The next one is freeze. Freeze is a stop motion or holding out at the end of the scene. In a scenario, usually this is used at the end of an episode uh, for a series, yeah, like a Korean series. Uh, where the scene stops and then the story ends. Usually, uh, the end of each episode uh, stops at a thrilling scene to create suspense for the viewers. Uh, freeze is usually used for the main character. And then, uh, as I mentioned earlier, INT, here short for interior. The use in a scenario similar as EXT, as exterior. Uh, but uh, for uh, for in interior, uh, usually this is to show a place inside the room or indoor. Yeah, uh, it's the opposite of EXT. And then the main title, this is the title of the story of a movie or a series in a scenario, usually shown after teaser scene and continued by credit title. The next one is montage. Montage is several pictures uh, that show continuous and flowing scenes. It can be in uh, several different places, but then fused into one. In a scenario, for example, uh, for example, the story of a woman who is heartbroken. She is remembering beautiful moments with her ex-boyfriend. Uh, we can use montage in this case by displaying like several beautiful scenes between the woman and the husband. Uh, like when they are still together. A moment like when they are uh, running together on the beach, sharing ice cream or in a, in a park, in a beautiful park, etc. And then sequence. Sequence is another, uh, another word for chapter, which is collection of several scenes. And then sound effect, sound effect, three, three, written effect, effect. This is meant for sound, sound by other by other voice and music illustration. For example, like phone ringtone, like uh, school bell ringing, like noises from falling kitchen tool. Uh, another, uh, another sound uh, uh, that is not human voice or music illustration. And then uh, the last one is voiceover. 
voice over are usually shortened as VO. This is dialogue that can be heard but not visualized in the, pic in the picture. For example, the sound of two people chatting in the other room, that, uh, the, the character can listen without seeing the two people chatting. And then, uh, or it can be like someone speaking to himself where the voice is heard but the lips does not move. Okay. Any question? Okay, is there any question? I hope my explanation is uh, quite clear to you, but if you still have like question, I can. Yeah, please just uh, chat. Huh? Yes. Jensen Iwaldo, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All students from Southeast Asian countries. That's why me and uh, Pak Hadi use uh, English language. So everybody, uh, we have like like participants from Vietnam, from Philippines. They are also registering in this uh, uh, competition and online course. My name is Alin. Yeah, I have uh, previously I have introduced myself. My name is Alin. Okay. For the rules of the competition, you may check uh, maybe like one or two days. After this, in the website of the Creative Camp. So on Thursday, we will have another session of online training. It will be about script breakdown. Script breakdown. So it is good if you are. Uh, now, if you now create your own script, so on Thursday, uh, on the script breakdown uh, session, you will have, uh, you will have, uh, what do you call, your own script uh, to be breakdown. So you can start exercising, create your own story, doesn't have to be long, it can be like one page uh, first, and then you can go from that uh, short story then you can develop it more. Could you explain about quiz again? Okay, I will uh, refrain uh, the explanation about quiz. It's stop motion, yeah? Like uh, holding out at the end of the scene. Usually, if you watch uh, like Korean movie, at the end of each episode, usually it's uh, like thrilling scene that gives suspense to the, to the viewers. So, uh, it makes you want to uh, watch the the next episode, right? Because it's like giving you the tense, giving you the suspense. That's called free. Usually, uh, it will show the uh, the face of the main character. Uh, about touristic attraction. Okay, the movie that you make can be about tourist attraction. So, for example. Uh, if you're from uh, Semarang, you can uh, make video about uh, the, beauty, the beauty of Semarang. You can go to some tourist attraction and shoot the, the scenery there and give like uh, caption and give also uh, using the uh, good music, for example. You can also create some characters where the characters are uh, having dialogue just to uh, make it more believable that the place is really beautiful and that 
you can ask other people to come to that tourist attraction. You have to promote your yes. area. Yes, you, you can promote uh, uh, tourism in your area, in uh, your location. So that uh, everyone who watch your video, they will want to visit, yeah, your, visit place. Your, your place, right? Okay, can you yeah. explain about montage and INT? Okay, INT uh, is the opposite to EXT. It's, it's actually exterior and interior. Exterior is outdoor and interior is indoor. So it's just the location of the shooting, where the shooting takes place. Interior or exterior. And then montage, as for montage, is a, hold on, a several pictures that show continuous and flowing scenes. So it can be in uh, different places, but then it come into one. For example, in a scenario, uh, as I said earlier, uh, to deliver the story about a woman who is heartbroken after uh, cut uh, her relationship with her ex-boyfriend, but then uh, in silence she cried and remembering her past with her ex-boyfriend. So it can be it can be shown by uh, creating uh, several scenes. For example, when they are sharing ice cream together, when they are uh, running in a in a on the beach, or some other beautiful moments. It can be collage and montage into uh, many scenes and then like goes into one scene. Yeah. What is tourism promotion? Yeah, for example, as I said earlier, if you are from Jakarta, you can uh, create video about a national monument or monarch. Uh, you show in your video uh, how to attract other people from outside Jakarta to come visit Jakarta to see Mona. Okay, for sequence, sequence is like mm, what you call uh, chapter. It's like a chapter. Sequence is like a chapter. So uh, in some in some uh, story you have like different uh, chapters and it is uh, shown by a different scene so uh, it's like a collection of scenes actually so it will be easy for the editor to refer if they doing the the editing uh, activities they can go to in which sequence you can call it like that when is the deadline? The deadline. Uh, uh, we 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 have to wait from the teammates. Yeah, it yeah. will be informed uh, in the website. You yeah. may please refer to the website and go check uh, the information in the website. Okay, fade in, fade out. Yeah. So fade in is the slow transition from dark to the light, and then fade out is the same slow transition from light to the dark. So fade out is like uh, after uh, the sun sets and then it, it shows from day, daytime to nighttime. And then the fade in is uh, the opposite. How long the duration of the video? Uh, maximum maximum uh, 10 minutes. Maximum 10 minutes for the duration of the video. There are no minimum duration. Must we have a dialogue or interview in the video? Yes, you may. You may use dialogue or you may not also use the dialogue. It's up to you. Uh, if the story requires dialogue, please create the dialogue. If you just want to show the scene and uh, with accompanied by a musical instrument or song, it's up to you. Uh, 
enam. So uh, in total there will be there will be six meeting. Uh, there will be six meetings. Uh, if you follow the all the session of the meetings and uh, do the exercise given, well, perhaps at the end of the uh, the course you will be able to create your own video. Is there any special software to edit the video? No, it's up to you. It's up to you. You can use any software, any software. free free software or paying software to edit the video, but I think there are many uh, free software uh, to be downloaded, to be used. The, the output of this uh, course is to create a video. So uh, it's up to you. You, you can learn. Uh, from other sources as well, uh, as long as at the end of this uh, competition you submit your your video, and then as a judge we will uh, grade your video whether it is permissible or not. Does it have to be about the student hometown? Uh, yeah. Yes. Local. Your, Lo local. your local area. It, the the main objective of this course is also to promote your own area, your own local area, to promote the tourism. Can we use dubbing voice instead of dialogue? Of course. Yes. It's up we to you. It's up, it's up to you. This is a, like a very free uh, video competition. Yeah, use your creativity. Yeah, you can use your own creativity. Sure. Should we use all those effects in our video? Uh, it depends yeah. on you. Which one do you think is uh, suitable? Yeah, suitable for your video. Doesn't have to be. Uh, you don't have to like use all those effects. This is just to inform you that there are this kind of uh, terms in a video. Into one. You just uh, at the end of this competition, you will have to submit one video. Maximum 10 minutes? No minimum. There is no minimum yeah. duration. Just, but not too short because it yeah. will be hard to compete <laughs> if your video is too short. Yeah. As long as it is clearly described uh, your local area, then it attracts, attracts viewers to yeah. come to your place, mm -hmm. that will be good. The video uses Indonesian or English. If you use Indonesian language, be sure to provide the translation, the subtitle. So other people from other uh, from outside Indonesia can also be able to understand your video. What is the format? Uh, you have to upload to the to YouTube. And you can send us the link. Yeah, and send us the link. So whatever format compatible to YouTube will be okay. Right. What specific exercise for this meeting? Create your own uh, uh, script. So you will have to create uh, the script. There is no specific format for the script. You can use the one that I already shared. Or if you have your own uh, script uh, format, you can see using it. Yes, at the end of this course, uh, there will be a competition that is free for you to join. If you don't want to join the competition, it's also okay if you just want to get new knowledge. Thank you, Amelia. Nice to meet you too. All who are registering to this course will get certificates. For the winners, there will be extra winning certificates to have. Yeah. yeah. But all the participants who uh, registered, make sure you have registered uh, to the course, will get a certificate. How about the roof? The roof will be displayed in the website. You may check like in a day or two. Uh, please kindly refer to the rules that is provided in the website, that will be provided in the 
in the website. So currently we haven't uh, updated the website, but please do check in a day or two. Okay. Uh, you don't hear the sound. Have you uh, share your audio? Because you have to share your audio first. Uh, um, I think we should we should uh, uh, chat yeah, we, we could pick it. Something and then start on The competition is free, just like this course. No paying fee. The rules will be provided in the website. No. So okay, for those of you who uh, who are late to join this meeting, uh, this session will be recorded and then will also be uploaded in the website. So what should I do? You should contact Mr. Poor no more. Uh, the, in the, the, the website. The website. In, the in, website. The, in the website, there's a contact person named Mr. Purnomo. If you have already registered, but your team name was not in the summary participant, you, uh, you uh, can you please contact Mr. Purnomo? So this submit a copy of our script for checking. No, the script will be used by yourself. There will be no grading, no checking. It, it's just for your own need to create your video later. But uh, in this week, on Thursday, we will have another, uh, we will have session two, which is a script breakdown. So from your script, there will be a breakdown activity, uh, will be led by Mr. Renaldo. Later, if you have the script already, you can do the breakdown activity. But if you have no script, then you cannot practice breaking down the script. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry, but this uh, video is meant for your own town. The, the main objective of this uh, competition is to promote your local area. So uh, it will attract more visitors to come to your area. The video will be using English. Uh, it, it, you can use uh, English or Bahasa or your local language, even it's Bahasa Indonesia or Tagalog or Vietnamese language. Uh, but please be sure to provide subtitle, the, the text in English, so everyone who watch the video will understand. Can I make like journalists talking on the camera? Yeah, sure. Yes. Yes? Sure. It, it, it's part of the idea, of your idea in a story. It, you can start like a... Uh, uh, this is Alin reporting from uh, Manila, for example. We are going to promote uh, some place in the Philippines that is blah, 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 blah. You can yeah. do it. That's, as long as it's yeah. interesting. Yeah. Yes, that's your idea to make the video becoming more and more creative. It's up to you if the video should be only in our local area or in the whole Philippines. It's up to you, uh, Shan Li. Uh, if you think you can cover the whole Philippines in 10 minutes video, that would be good. But if you uh, have like only limited uh, resource or uh, time to create, you can use your local area. The team. The team uh, is... Uh, Promotional tourism video. Can we use English in the video? Sure, you can. It is good if you can if you use English in the video so everybody can understand. 
we will learn about video editing in future session. Yes, there will be two sessions yes, yes. for video editing. Two sessions. There will be two special sessions for video editing. I live in Jakarta, but I want to make a video about just one area. You mean just one area in Jakarta? Yes, you can do it. What software should we install? It's free. We do not limit uh, one or two software. It's up to you. Whatever uh, convenient to you. Uh, you have to the the, the license. Yes. If you want to take other video, uh, you have to check the license, whether it's a free source or it's not, because yeah. it will be against the license rule. Yeah. When was the last video? Yeah, you have to wait for, yeah, for, the, for the due date of the uh, submission of the video will be later will be announced in the website. Can we use non-free software? You you mean the the paying software? Sure. If you have uh, the software already, or if you willing to buy to pay for the software, sure you can do it. I mean, what video editing software? Oh, uh, Premiere. Premiere, Adobe Premiere. The concept is free, yes, but the theme is about uh, promotional tourism uh, in your own local area. Okay. So once again, uh, this session will be recorded and will be uploaded in the website. So be sure to regularly check the website. Whatever new information we will put there. No, you can use your available gadget. Yes. You can use your smartphone. You can use your, uh, uh, your uh, handy cam or... You can use any camera in your gadget. Yeah. Uh, in the first batch of this training, the third uh, winner, they use only smartphone. Okay, I think that's quite a question from you all. Uh, thank you very much for being a very active participant for uh, this uh, evening session. I hope to be able to see you again uh, in a future session. Uh, but as for now, uh, I think uh, the session will uh, end up here. I will give the session back to Mr. Hadi. Thank you very much. Good night. Okay, thank you guys. And see you uh, in the next session. Okay, bye. <laughs>